Nita history. He and the cop did the chuckle over. Who you age moment? Saha Hoya, the Dito Bolton. Boya Pachki, too, CG Flock Quages. Tawa Algi in a cop did the Imahan Gatka, Balin, Hamgen, Kulpokaga, Kasi Atiga, then the cop did that those. Sam Alexander, Jaha Jivkados, Moman in Mopanaya, O Mais. Azias Keith Kabal and Othidos, Okwegidan, Alegi Jagis. Good morning. We welcome our guests in the Mound Building and those watching on live internet streaming on the tribal website. This is the 17th session of the Muskogee National Council. I'm Sam Alexander, the speaker. It's 10 o'clock, and I call this meeting to order. Omayida, Jagi, and Omalgan, Sabakalachkan, Watgalong, Yahakit, Mikosapkan, Hayathis. As is our custom, please stand as Watgalong leads a creek song and offers a word of prayer. Thank you very much.
Again, I just created, I just want to ask you, the beautiful day that you've given us, Father, how you reached your hand down and you're painting the colors of all the trees. It makes it so beautiful, Father. Just thank you for our sight, Father. Thank you for the day, Father. Thank you for the ones who, who have stood up in this, in this nation here to, to guide us and to make decisions for our lives, for not only for us, but for the senior citizens who have paid the path, paid the path for us, and for our younger ones who are the future. Father, just remember that on, on, Father, the way of life has gone with them. We need to respect the elders. Father, we have so much to give. Father, just just watch over these decisions that we make in, in, this, in our nation. Father, we are humble people. We try to be humble people. Father, again, just watch over and guide us. In your name, amen. Amen. <coughs> What go long, but oh, Chikages, what go long, we thank you. Two years ago, this government resembled a dictatorship. There were 13 lawsuits by the principal chief against the legislature. The budget process described in the Constitution was ignored. Chaos was the order of business. Elections brought about a new principal chief, and from all appearances, the court system is now open and functional in every aspect. The new principal chief has appeared in front of this national council six times in the past 22 months, and he appears again today to address this body and tribal citizens. He isn't giving away a door prize or money to attract the people's attention. Rather, they are here today on their own. His cabinet and tribal employees rival any similar group in Indian country. Some of the best minds from across the country have joined him <coughs> to help run the government. Before I ask him, uh, got a little ahead of myself, before I ask him to come and give us uh, his quarterly report, I want to ask the second speaker for the roll call. And we'll get started. Speaker Alexander. Present. Representative Shirley Nade. Representative Dodie Barnett. Present. Representative Pete Beaver. Present. Representative Frank Coachman. Yeah, Vegas. Representative Johnny Green. Present. Representative David Hill. Here. Representative Keeper Johnson. Present. Representative Adam Jones. Here. Representative Eddie Legrone. Present. Representative Kira Medina. Present. Representative David Nichols. Present. Representative Daryl Proctor. Here. Representative Mark Randolph. Present. Representative Pearl Thomas. Present. Representative Lena Wind. Here. Representative Thomas Yehola. Here. Representative Huff is here. Mr. Speaker, we have 18 present and zero absent. Is that right? 18 present. 18 present, zero absent. Constitutes a quorum. All the business today will be official. Now back to uh, Chief Tiger. Please help me welcome Chief Tiger to the podium today to deliver his quarterly address. Good morning. Good morning. Omen Hayoe, born his Agamizi, Dohwen, and Milae, Jehoma, Witton, Does. It is by the grace of our Creator that I stand before you to thank him for his blessings to give you this quarterly report. 
Obanaya. So Hokola Ahai Yagi Isti Masko Gaugi Dawi Doaksat. Mr. Speaker, Second Speaker, National Council, and our tribal citizens. I again stand before you to bring you this quarterly report of the progress of this great nation. I want to preface my report by saying that it's the work of all of us that are elected that are part of this legislature, part of the executive office, and part of the judicial branch that allows us to succeed. No one person is bigger than this government, this nation, and I believe it's reflective of the tremendous progress that we've enjoyed it, we have enjoyed in the last 22 months. One of the things that we've done in the last two years is we've brought to this council a comprehensive annual budget that we follow the Constitution and says that we prepare it and you are able to look at it and question it with your consent and advice and we've done that again and Mr. Speaker as you know we have a great annual budget that we're working currently with for fiscal year 14. I've been approached by some of our citizens and they have a concern and yes they should have concerns because that's who we serve about some feeling that we're spending a lot of money. Well as elected officials sometimes we have to spend money but I like to consider it as investment. It's an investment into the future of this great nation. It's an investment back into the people that we serve. And because of that, I'm proud to announce to you in this last quarter, there's some history-making events that took place, in particular with health. The Muscogee Creek Nation Division of Health, for the first time in the history of this nation, in the history of this state, in the history of the University of Oklahoma, there was a transition of property that took place. As you know, we were able to get the George Nye Center, not the George Tiger Center, George Nye Center, for a million dollars. Now there's been questions of where that money came from. That money came from invested interests that the Division of Health had available. Didn't come out of the treasury of this great nation, but through that format of financing, that uh, the ability for us to buy George Nye, we now have a resource that a lot of people, our people, have enjoyed in the past of using, and now we're getting calls from other tribes that want to do a nation-to-nation -nation business, and we feel like it's nothing but a win-win for this great nation to be able to have the Georgia Nye Rehab Center. That's history making, and to this National Council, I want to commend you for your support in making sure that happens. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you need to give this fine council a nice round of applause. One of the things we talked about coming into this administration was establishing relationships. Collaboration between a government that is much more historical, much more, I guess you would say, aged, in this Muscogee Creek Nation tribal government. This government was here before the state of Oklahoma. This government was here before the county of Okmulgee. This government was here before the city of Okmulgee and all the cities that we share in the communities that we share throughout the 10, 11 county area that's within our jurisdiction. It's important that we have partnerships and we have done that. We found out the Okmulgee Memorial Hospital was gonna be closed. As many of you know, when you close a very valuable resource such as a hospital, it's been proven in history that sometimes those doors do not open back up. So we were approached by the Okmulgee Memorial Hospital Authority Board to see if we would be able to work with them. And we did. And we received calls from different tribes throughout the country wanting to know how we were able to do that. Again, there's a misnomer or rumors that we spent anywhere from five to $10 million for that hospital. And I want to report to our citizens and to our managers and those of you that are in this auditorium this morning, we didn't spend a dime. We proposed to them that we would, we would take on the debt that they had. 
And we would also propose to them that we have more resources that we have available by being able to have the operation of that hospital under jurisdiction of Muscogee Creek Nation. And so today, that hospital is running. We're still going through a transition period, and I see nothing but a win-win for not only this nation, but for this community, but for all people that use that facility. And I think this, com this council deserves another hand. Give them another round of applause. <laughs> Our quality of service in health area is improving each day, each week, and that trend continues. And I believe it's important that when we came in, that health is the number one concern of our, treat, of our people. And we're addressing it. And we're addressing it at a very aggressive pace. We're looking at building a hospital in Okima, long overdue. And as I stated to my colleagues at the National Congress of American Indians a couple of weeks ago, we were the very first tribe in this country to operate its own hospital. And we've been doing that since the mid-70s. And now we're just taking it up another level to improve the health services of this great Muscogee Creek Nation. The Department of Education and Employment and Training. The Higher Education Administration received approval through this council to update tribal grant awards. As you know, you voted on it not too long ago that enables for the students to re receive more money to help cover the cost of their education by awarding students $125 per number of credit hours enrolled. One of the things that we're working very diligently on, and I know that many of you on this council have received calls from our students who have concerns of having their fees paid on a timely manner. It is our hope that very soon that our students will be able to have a debit card that they can take with them so that they can pay those fees in a timely manner. And that's the first uh, time that we've ever been able to offer that in the history of this great nation. The Johnson O'Malley program is seeking approval by legislation to develop an advanced placement incentive grant to be offered to Muscogee Creek High School students within the state of Oklahoma. The reintegration program is one of the most successful reintegration programs in the country. We have one of the best at the Muscogee Creek Nation. They just received an honorable mention in Harvard Honoring of Nations Awards, placed seventh in a field of over 100 entries. From the best practice projects, I believe it says something about that great program. They also receive a federal grant in excess of $3.78 million from the Department of Justice and Bureau of Justice Assistance. This grant will assist the program in building a transitional living facility for Muscogee Creek citizens who are being released from prison and having the ability to have a transition into what this society has to offer. Office of Tax Commission. We've been now under a compact for a little over a year. Because of a compact, and yes, it's not a perfect compact, surely, but it is a compact that allows this nation to be able to compete in the market that we are in. All revenues are up. Tobacco receipts, as expected, are about 175% of over last year's revenue. Motor vehicles up 75,000 from this quarter alone. Muscogee Nation Business Enterprise has purchased the rights, rights for Rex's Chicken Franchise. First two sites will be located in the Muscogee and Okmulgee Travel Plazas. Website design for Riverwalk is in its first phase and should be operational within the next 30 days. As you know, uh, our citizenship board and the employees have been working hard to have a new citizenship card. As of August 12th, the Citizenship Office went live with their new database along with a new citizenship ID card, and we've had a tremendous amount of response from people that are wanting this new card. <coughs> Mr. Speaker and Council, my quarterly report is going to be a little bit shorter this time because I know that you have a long agenda. You have the reports in front of you, so I'm just kind of hitting some of the highlights that I feel are important. Our election board just went through the primary election. The general election is coming up in the very near future, within a couple of weeks. 
As you know, one of the amendments was uh, adding a seventh judge to the Supreme Court that passed. A proposed amendment deleting both at large voting and at large representation did not pass. On November 2nd, there is a runoff for three seats. I believe it's in Tulsa, Okmulgee, and Okfuskie. While I have this opportunity, I want to encourage our citizens to please go vote. Your vote is important. Very proud of the College of Muskogee Nation. Having served as a member of the National Board of Regents for Haskell Indian Nations University, I know that it's a hard job going through an accreditation process. They also have been receiving uh, grants from various uh, funding sources. In August, the college received a USDA grant for $125,000 to purchase cafeteria equipment for the Student Auxiliary Library Center that will be completed in June of next year. Everything that we've done, everything that's been shared with you in your reports or by my report today is because of the ability to work together. And I believe when I gave you my first State of the Nation address in 2012, we talked about the voice of the people was heard loud and clear that it is their wishes that their government can work together. And I believe we've more than been able to satisfy those needs of our citizens by being able to work together. I believe it's important that we continue to work together. As I said in my State of the Nation address, Solidarity does live here in Muscogee Creek Nation. I close my remarks and my report this morning by saying that it is by the grace of God, as you know as a people, that our spiritual and our faith in the great creator allows us for us to be successful. And I believe we are just following what our elders have taught us, that all things are possible through the help of the Creator and by working together, having the ability to be in constant contact with our citizens. And I see that continuing on. May God bless you. May God bless our citizens. And may God Almighty bless this, this Muscogee Creek Nation. My diggers are fortunate to add. I know we took Tangi on Bala, so. Travats was it. My hand was it. My dog, my get into it. I am honored. I am humbled. And I thank you for this opportunity to serve as the principal chief of this great nation and to serve with you, members of this national council. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Much, Chief Tiger. The next uh, item on the agenda is approval of minutes. We have emergency session minutes, September the 10th, 2013, extraordinary session minutes, September 15th, 2013, pr planning session minutes, September 24th, 2013, regular session minutes, September 28th, 2013. What is the pleasure of the National Council? Mr. Speaker, I make a motion to approve these four sets of minutes with any changes. Thank you. Representative Medina motions. Representative Thomas Shahola seconds the motion to approve these four sets of minutes. Is there any discussion? There being none, roll call vote. Karen Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Chihola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, zero against. With 17 yes votes and zero no votes, those four sets of minutes are approved by the National Council. 
Prior to getting into the order of business, there's a tan cavalier in the west parking lot. Your headlights are on. There you have it. Down into the order of business, tribal resolution 13-134, a tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief execute a management system certification and accreditation agreement between the nation and Det Norski Veritas. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. I say that right? Johnny, did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Representative Green motions. Representative Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion on the resolution? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Tara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal <laughs> resolution is adopted by the National Council. Mr. Tribal Speaker? resolution 13137. I'm sorry. I'd like to make the motion that we move NCA 13267, NCA 13270, and NCA 13275 up on the agenda. I have to be excused early today. Is there a second to that motion? Representative Huff seconds the motion. Okay, the motion is to move and uh, NCA. NCA 13267, 13270, 13275, top of the agenda. All those in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. NCA 13267, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating funds for the purchase of two compressed natural gas CNG stations to be used for economic development and generation of revenue as part of the nation's long-term development, energy infrastructure expansion, and alternative energy goals. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Benita okay. motion. Representative Pearl Thomas seconds. Is there a discussion? Yes. <coughs> Speaker, uh, I'm, I'm very much in support of this uh, project. Uh, I think that uh, we're, we're uh, getting a uh, head start here on, on something that uh, a big wave that's going to uh, sweep the nation uh, in, the, in the very near future. Um, I would also uh, alert and advise the honorable members of the National Council that there's additional work, uh, should this project pass, there's additional work that must, <clears throat> must be done uh, forthwith. Uh, uh, this, this is a, a fuel, and there absolutely must be uh, a uh, tax schedule uh, generated and approved by this National Council uh, before uh, one CFM goes into a car. Uh, it will take a little time to uh, get up to speed and initiate uh, this project. Uh, I think there will be ample time to uh, develop a uh, tax tax scheme, tax code, not scheme, but code. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I, I just want everybody to be uh, aware that uh, that a, a tax schedule will be as important as this project itself. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Any other discussion? I have a roll call vote, please. Chair Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. <coughs> Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Nody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. 
Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA 13-267 is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13-270, a law from Skokie Creek Nation authorizing a donation to Angels Above Incorporated to assist with providing scholarships, support, and substance abuse education for Native youth and families. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Medina motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Question. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, my question is, is this startup money for scholarships, and so this would be a one-time benevolence as opposed to a annual funding? Yes. Um, I, I didn't uh, put any language in there to make it as part of the CAB. This is just to help them. They're just uh, getting this organization off the ground. They just incorporated as a 501c3 back in August. They finally got their 501c3 certification and they're soliciting donations right now and this is to help get that off the ground because they want their first scholarship to go to a Morris High School student because that's where Derek went to high school and they want to do that in his memory. Okay, thank you. Is there any other discussion? Roll call vote please. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 12-275, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation amending NCA 13-126, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation to Glen Pool Creek Indian Community to assist with operating expenses as amended by NCA 13-166. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Medina motions. Representative Robert Huff seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Gerald Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. If you return back to the uh, order of business, we're down to the second tribal resolution. Tribal resolution 13137. A tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a credit agreement on behalf of the nation's Department of Health with Mercedes Medical. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Mark Randolph seconds. Is there a discussion? <coughs> Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Charlene Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17, what did you say? 17. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal resolutions adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13138, a tribal resolution over the Muskogee Creek Nation, authorizing the principal chief to execute an affiliation agreement between the Muskogee Creek Nation Department of Health and the Board of Regents of the University of Oklahoma College of Pharmacy. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motion. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion on the resolution? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. 
Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes, zero no votes. Tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13139, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the nation to participate in a federal study of the nation's food distribution program. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Pearl Thomas motions. Representative David Nichols seconds. Is there discussion? Roll call vote, please. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13140, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute an agreement for work on department property with the Oklahoma State Department of Transportation for construction improvements on State Highway Loop. 56. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to pass. Representative Eddie Lebron motions. Representative Johnny Green seconds. Is there a discussion? Mr. Speaker? Yes. <clears throat> uh, I might comment that uh, this uh, pertains to the work on the uh, north side of the uh, complex. Um, the, uh, the, park, the new parking area is going into the, or will be constructed in the uh, right away of the uh, Department of Oklahoma Department of Transportation. This uh, uh, resolution provides the authority to uh, uh, complete that work. Thank you, sir. Any other comment or discussion? Roll call vote, please. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Charlene Aid? <coughs> Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor and against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13141, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief execute a memorandum of agreement with Baycomb College for the maintenance of roadway improvements located at Baycomb College. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Eddie Legrone, motion. <coughs> Representative David Hill, seconds. Is there a discussion? Speaker? Yes. I have a question for the uh, sponsor. Uh, Mr. Legrone, is, will this be federal funds or tribal funds for use for this? Um, federal, uh, federal funds will be used in this project. Uh, this, uh, this, this project has been in the nation's uh, inventory for several years, uh, has uh, generated a uh, handsome revenue to the ro roads program. Uh, and uh, uh, this particular resolution uh, uh, gets, uh, gets the uh, school to agree to maintain the roads once they are uh, improved. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Roll call vote, please, on the resolution. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13142, a tribal resolution over the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a contract between owner and contractor with Foster and Glover Paving, Inc. for roadway improvements to the Baco College, Bacon College Street project. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Eddie Legron motions. Representative David Hill seconds. Is there a discussion? Mr. Speaker? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Mr. I, I, I defer to Representative Sorry. <laughs> Question. Uh, this company, Foster and Glover, were they a tarot-approved company? Uh, 
Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, we can find out. I have a question. Was, were there any tarot companies bidding on this project? I wasn't privy to that information. I'm not certain. We only do have two tarot approved uh, paving companies that could do this work. So uh, how, how this uh, came about, I wasn't aware of. But uh, Glover and the other name, they are not tarot certified. I guess, I guess from the same point, I know we have a tarot program there. We've asked that we were trying to make sure that, that our Creek Citizens companies that would have opportunity to bid on anything that, that the tribe was doing. So I don't know if I... Um, uh, it, Mr. Speaker, if I, I may address, um, <clears throat> I believe that this uh, RFP was let before the tarot ordinance was even put in place, okay. and uh, the you know the bidding process uh, is uh, sort of sort of timely and lengthy. Um, <coughs> the uh, uh, bid was accepted, uh, and then final negotiations were made, and then setting the uh, contract in place as the fi final step. Is Mr. Lassard here? Is Mr. Lassard present? Good morning. I believe this project was done before a tarot was put in place, but I can check on that. But the lower bidder was uh, Foster, and there is no Creek Citizen company that bid on the project. Native American, yes, but not Muscogee Creek Citizen. But I can check on that for you, but I'm pretty sure that was all put in place because we've been working on this. We were hoping to start construction on the Bacon project back in uh, May, the last May, but there was different things that come in place that held us off and held us off, and then... We finally got it out for bid and it went through the bid process and everything. Thank you. Mr. Speaker? Yes. I would also add that the uh, uh, contract amount includes a tariff fee of $11,711. Uh, so that's uh, quite handsome to the nation. That is correct. There is a tariff fee in the contract itself. So that may be something that Rob and the uh, owner of that company can sit down together and get them certified, tarot certified. But we put all uh, tarot money, the 1.5% in the contract itself on any project we do now. Is that it? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sarge. Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my, I guess my question was maybe for Mr. Lesarge or, or someone more knowledgeable, um, was there not a, a case where a Glover was indicted from the OD, like the Oklahoma Department of Transportation a few years ago? Uh, that's true. Uh, this is Foster Glover. It's a, um, um, a, a, a new company. It's the gentleman's son, right? That's exactly right. And I'm not sure that we we could hold uh, uh, hold his uh, our chil our children accountable for our misdeeds as adults and parents. Uh, they they have uh, numerous contracts and they appear to be a very reputable firm. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other discussion or question? Roll call vote, please. Eddie Legrand. Yes. Kara Medina. Yes. David Nichols. Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal resolutions adopted by the National Council. Tribal Resolution 13143, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a memorandum of agreement between the Indian Health Service, Okmulgee County Rural Water District Number 7, and Muscogee Creek Nation to provide assistance to upgrade the New Yaka water distribution.
pressure systems for satisfactory domestic water supply for Indian owned homes. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative David Nichols motions. Second. Representative Edward Grone seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. <laughs> Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. The 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13144. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation confirming the nomination of Michael Flood to serve on the College of Muscogee Nation of Board, Board of Regents. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Keeper Johnson motions. Representative Tom Chihola seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? <coughs> Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. <coughs> 17 in favor, none against. With 17 yes votes and zero no votes, the tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Mr. Flood is uh, not able to join us this morning. Uh, he had a death in his family and had to travel to uh, Sherman, Texas. Tribal resolution 13145, a tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a clinical rotation agreement between the Muskogee Creek Nation Central Technology Center for the purpose of allowing pharmacy technician students an opportunity to complete clinical rotation experience at the Sepulpa Indian Health Facility. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Yes. Representative Keeper Johnson motions. Representative David Nichols seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13146. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a real estate contract for the purchase of property located in, in Okfusky County, Oklahoma. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Yeah, Representative Lena Wynn motions and Representative Frank Coachman seconds. Is there a discussion? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I do have an amendment that I'm going to need to uh, make, but prior to that, I'd like to have time turned over to uh, Lieutenant Commander Smith and the attorney, Mr. Williams. Good morning. Thank you, Speaker and members of the National Council. Uh, yes, uh, as we went through this on the uh, committee, uh, the reason the minerals were uh, left in the agreement were because it was unclear, the city of Okima was unclear of who officially owned the minerals. And so uh, what they would, if we would pass this through uh, how it was originally, and then what we would have to do is do an appraisal of who actually owned the uh, minerals. And then if we uh, still want to uh, pursue owning those minerals, then we would probably have to do a separate agreement with whomever the owner of those minerals are. With, with that being said, I'd like to offer an amendment on, pa on the second page of this on line 63 to delete the language including all minerals and insert the language reserving all oil, gas, coal, and other minerals to the seller. Mr. 
my motion, sir. Okay. Uh, Representative President Blaine Wynn made the motion to amend. Representative Tom Shahol seconded the motion. Does everybody understand the proposed amendment? Mr. Speaker, yes, I, I just have a, a question of clarification. Uh, uh, if it's reserved to the seller and we don't know who the seller is, how is that going to work? Mr. Williams? What we'll do is we'll do an appraisal. Like when we get, we'll, we'll do an appraisal, an official prayer. They know that they own some of those minerals, but not for sure if they don't own all oh, of them. Okay, so, so they think they own part of them. Yes, sir. Okay, I see. Yes, sir. I gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there any other discussion on the proposed amendment? There being none, we'll have a roll call vote on the proposed amendment. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Gerald Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. With 17 yes votes and zero no votes, the proposed amendment is adopted by the National Council of this bill. Back to the main motion. Is there any further discussion of the bill? Mr. Speaker? Yes. I, I might just comment uh, on the importance of the minerals for <clears throat> this uh, property. Um, the uh, mineral owners, uh, uh, at their will, uh, can enter the property and, and, and drill and produce uh, uh, whenever they want to. Uh, I can imagine uh, a travesty uh, where there's a drilling unit uh, outside the windows of the uh, uh, ICU unit. Uh, uh, you know, that would not be a good thing. And, and it behooves us to pursue these minerals and, and secure the uh, uh, peace and serenity of the uh, hospital property. Thank you. Sir? Yes, sir. On page two of six, if you look at the bottom of your pages, uh, under the land description, it does say here and after subject property consisting of approximately 75.94 acres, more or less reserving all oil, gas, coal, and other minerals to seller. The Any other discussion? Bill. That might be the okay. that might be part mm -hmm. to the amendment that he made the other night. Any other discussion or comment? <clears throat> well, a roll call vote on the main motion. Lena As amended. Yes. Thomas Shahola. Yes. Shirley Nade. Yes. Dodie Barnett. Yes. Pete Beaver. Yes. Frank Coachman. Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? No. David Nichols? Yes. Gerald Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Speaker, you have 16 in favor, one against. 16 yes votes and one no vote. The tribal resolution, as amended, is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13147. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a memorandum of agreement between the Muscogee Creek Nation and Wainwright Public Schools. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Debbie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal Resolution 13148, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief 
execute a local Head Start agreement with Glen Poole Public Schools. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Mark Randolph seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Karen Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes, zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal Resolution 13149, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute an agreement for use of space with Oklahoma State University Institute of Technology for the use of Lackey Hall. What's a pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Karen Medina seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. <clears throat> Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. With 17 yes votes and zero no votes, <coughs> Tribal Resolution 13149 is adopted by the National Council. Tribal Resolution 13150, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the health care services provided under the compact of self governance between the Muscogee Creek Nation and the United States to be provided to non Indian health service eligible beneficiaries on a fee for care or fee for service basis at all Muscogee Creek Nation health care facilities. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 17 in favor, none against. 17 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal Resolution 13151, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief executed provider agreement with Caremark LLC and Caremark PCS LLC to provide covered prescription services to members of the Muscogee Creek Nation Department of Health Pharmacies. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Mark Randolph seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Pearl Thomas? Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 16 in favor, none against. We have 16 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Representative Pearl Thomas has just left the meeting to attend a funeral. Tribal Resolution 13152, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute an asset purchase agreement for the purchase of Lake Country medical equipment located in Oklahoma, Oklahoma. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. 
David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 16 in favor, none against. With 16 yes votes and zero no votes, the tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13154, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief execute a memorandum of agreement between the Muscogee Creek Nation, <laughs> Cherokee Nation, Chickasaw Nation, Choctaw Nation, and Seminole Nation for the purpose of promoting tribal tourism within the state of Oklahoma. What's the pleasure of the National Council? No. Representative David Hill motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Speaker? Yes. Speaker, I'd like to uh, ask a uh, response to Representative Hill. Uh, on the uh, back page, uh, number four talks about the uh, revenue generation. Number four, F, uh, commitment for $100,000. Would that be $100,000 per, uh, per nation? Na <coughs> nation? Per, yeah. per nation? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Thomas Shahola? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. Speaker, you have 16 in favor, none against. 16 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. But the record will also reflect uh, Representative Tom Shahola as excused from the meeting. Tribal resolution 13155. Tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute an upgrade agreement on behalf of the nation's judicial branch, the full court enterprise. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Pete Beaver, motion. Second. Representative Eddie Legron, seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. <coughs> Speaker, you have 15 in favor and none against. The 15 yes votes and zero no votes. Tribal resolutions adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13156. A tribal resolution of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief execute an upgrade agreement on behalf of the nation's judicial branch with Site Pay USA LLC. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Beaver motions. Representative Legrone seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Karen Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene A. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13157, a tribal resolution of the, of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending tribal resolution 13067. A resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to submit an intermediary relending program uh, loan application to the United States Department of Agriculture to provide loan funds to eligible tribal citizens for business development, which will be administered by the Muscogee Loan Fund. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative David Hill motions. Second. Representative Grown seconds. Discussion. Yes, sir. Speaker, I'd like to make a motion to amend the amount from 750 to 500 throughout the bill. Okay, the motion is to amend from 750 to 500. Is there a second to that motion? Representative Grown seconds the motion. Is there any discussion on the proposed amendment? Roll call vote on the amendment. David Hill? Yes. 
Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene A. Duddy Burnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the amendment is adopted. Back to the main motion, tribal resolution 13157 as amended. Is there any discussion? Speaker? Yes. I'd like to ask Secretary Fife if um, the 500000 would be sufficient. Uh, per, speak, per the memo that was sent to the chief, it says not to exceed 500. Does that answer your question, then? Thank you very much. Is there any further discussion? Back to the main motion. Roll call vote on the main motion. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. <clears throat> Shirley Nade? Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution 13157, as amended, is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13158, tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the Gaming Operations Authority Board to execute gaming industry tip compliance agreements with the Internal Revenue Service for each of the nation's casinos. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Huff, motion. Representative Nichols seconds. Is there a discussion? Yes. Yeah, just to make sure what this really pertains to is uh, we already have this compliance agreement in place with the Internal Revenue Service, and this is a uh, it's just a renewal of what we already have in place for the last five years. It's uh, something we have to do in order in terms of make sure that our tips are complied with the Internal Revenue Service and make sure that, that no one gets audited by not having this in, 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 uh, renewed at all. So it's nothing new to the employees of the casino. It's been in place for the last like last four or five years, so there's nothing that changes for the people who gets tips there. Thank you. Any other discussion on this bill? Roll call vote, please. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes, and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13161. A tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a request for change order with Masco Builders Limited Liability Company for construction related to the Dewar Community Center parking lot. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Eddie Legrone motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? <coughs> yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. <coughs> we have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The tribal resolution is adopted by the National Council. Tribal resolution 13162, a tribal resolution of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the Gaming Operations Authority Board to execute an engagement layer with Feller, Snyder, Blankenship, Bailey, and Tip and professional corporations. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Mr. Speaker, I make the motion. Do you pass? Representative Barnett motions. Representative Hill seconds. Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call vote. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. 
Shirley Nade. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, tribal resolutions adopted by the National Council. NCA 13225. A law of the Muskogee Creek Nation repealing MCNCA Title IV Sections 101, I'm sorry, Sections 1 101 and 1 104, and creating tribal burial assistance and food and funeral guidelines under MCNCA Title 35, Chapter 13. What's the pleasure of the National Council? I'd like to postpone this until uh, December session. Okay, the motion is to postpone until December. Representative Medina motions, Representative Johnny Green motions. So this is a motion to postpone. Is there a discussion on the motion? Roll call vote, please. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, yeah, 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, NCA 13225 is postponed. NCA 13243, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation amending NCA 12161, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing a donation for Love of the Game, Inc. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Adam Jones motions. Representative Darrell Proctor seconds. Is there a discussion? <coughs> Roll call vote, please. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Darrell Proctor? Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes, zero no votes. The NCA 13243 is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13244, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing a donation to the Jim Lucas Shakota Public Library. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Proctor motions. Representative Adam Jones seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene Nade? Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. We have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13245, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation, authorizing a special appropriation to a Muskogee Creek youth. What's the pleasure? The National Council. Adopt. Representative Lena Wynn motions. Representative Shirley Aid seconds. Is there any discussion? I'd like to remind you this is going to require a two thirds vote. Please have a roll call vote. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Duddy Barnett? No. Pete Beaver? No. Frank Coachman? No. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? No. Robert Huff? No. Keeper Johnson? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? No. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph. Yes. Speaker, you have eight in favor, seven against. Eight yes votes and seven no votes doesn't meet the required two thirds, so the NCA fails. NCA 13247, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of funds from the Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families Grant Violence <coughs> Grant Program to the Muskogee Creek Nation Family Violence Prevention Program. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Mr. Speaker, I make a motion to pass. Representative Barnett motions. Representative Charlene, eight seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? 
Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13248, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a principal chief to expend housing program income for the transport and setup of 50 housing and urban development compliant mobile homes. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Legron motions. Representative Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? I just wanted to ask uh, if these homes were, are they livable? I mean, we had some homes sometime from FEMA that were, I guess they had chemical, chemicals uh, related to sicknesses? No, they, these are all done through the FEMA, so no, they're very livable. In fact, they're almost brand new. Okay. And I, I think they're even uh, probably about 80% furnished, so they're a really good home. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fox. <coughs> Any other discussion or questions? Roll call vote, please. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13249, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending NCA 13197, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a donation, the 17th annual UG Heritage Festival. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Uh, Representative Huff yeah. motions, Representative Legron seconds. Is there a discussion? Yes, sir. All this, all this is is just a name change correcting. We're not asking for any money. It's just a name change correction. That's, that's correct. Thank you very much. Is there any other discussion or question? Roll call vote, please. Robert Heff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes, zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13250, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating funds to be used towards the purchase of real property located in Okefeskee County, Oklahoma. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Lena Wynn motions. Representative Charlene, eight seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene Aid? Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? No. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, one against. With 14 yes votes and one no vote, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13251, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending NCA 13180, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating funds for the purchase of real property located in Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Hill motions. Second. Representative Doty Barnett seconds. Is there a discussion? Oh, yes, just um, there's no money involved. It's just amending the law, so, similar to the previous one. Thank you. Are there any questions or discussion? Roll call vote, please. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legron? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene Aid? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13252, 
a law from Muskogee Creek Nation amending MCNCA Title 18, Section 1 102, entitled Administration of Programs, creating a new Title 18, Section 1 104, entitled Advanced Placement Test Incentive, Incentive for the Johnson O'Malley Program to assist Muskogee Creek High School students with costs associated with advanced placement testing fees. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Keeper Johnson motions. Representative Doty Barnett seconds. Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Doty Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. We have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13254, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a supplemental appropriation to the Environmental Services 2014 FY budget. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Mark Randolph motions. Representative Pete Beaver seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Doty Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. The 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13255. A law from Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing an appropriation of funds to the Muscogee Creek Nation Johnson O'Malley Advanced Placement Test Incentive Program. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Johnson motions and Representative David Nichols seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Keeper Johnson? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13256, a law from Scotia Creek Nation authorizing a donation to Hannah Public Schools. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Proctor motions. Representative Adam Jones seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? <coughs> Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council, NCA 13257. A law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation to a Muscogee Creek College student. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative A, motion. Representative Lena Wynn, seconds. Is there a discussion? Yes, sir. with our education department? What was our reply? your question sir okay, thank you any other discussion roll call vote please Shirley Nade yes. Dodie Barnett no Pete Beaver yes Frank Coachman yes Johnny Green yes David Hill no Robert Huff no 
Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Karen Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Speaker, you have 11 in favor, 4 against. With 11 yes votes and 4 no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13258, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation. Three, Muscogee Creek Youth. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Shirley A. Motions. Second. Representative Lena Wynn seconds. Is there discussion? Prior to the vote, we would ask, uh, or that would remind you that there's a two thirds vote required for this one as well. There being no discussion, have a roll call vote. Shirley Nade? Jody Barnett? No. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? No. David Hill? No. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? No. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Gerald Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Speaker, you have 11 in favor, 4 against. 11 yes votes and 4 no votes. The motion fails. NCA 13-259, a law of Muskoka Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation to the Shakota Indian community. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Representative Adam Jones motions. Representative Darrell Proctor seconds. Is there a discussion? <laughs> Roll call vote. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? No. Darrell Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, one against. With 14 yes votes and zero no votes. Yeah. Yeah. Apologize. 14 yes votes and one no vote. The NCA 13 259 is adopted by the <coughs> National Council. We have a uh, Members of the Shakota Indian community present. All right, all right. Let's give my hand. Thank you very much. NCA 13261. A law of the Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating funds to be used towards the purchase of business assets and the operation of Lake Country Medical Equipment located in Mulgee County, Oklahoma, for consulting agreement regarding the management and operation of the Lake Country Medical Equipment and for the lease of the building in which business operations of Lake Country Medical Equipment is located. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Johnny Green motions. Representative Mark Randolph seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Kara Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. <coughs> Frank Coachman? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. With 15 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13-262, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating funds to establish a literacy program for the Muscogee Creek Nation to be administered by the Department of Education and Training. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Medina motions. Second. Representative Eddie Legrone seconds. Is there a discussion? Uh, Mr. Speaker? Yes, sir. I have a question of clarification. I suspect, I suspect Dr. Johnson can help me out here. On the last page, there is a, a uh, budget worksheet. Uh, the, bud the budget worksheet uh, specifies 705000 
Uh, and the appropriation <coughs> is uh, uh, requested as 750000 And I'm just curious if that's a uh, uh, switch in numbers, uh, uh, you know, which number might be right. And I'm also curious if this is a result of the uh, literacy problem that's uh, being identified in the narrative. Okay, Mr. Johnson. Just told you. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, uh, the amount uh, really isn't in error. I understand what's on the, the worksheet, but the, uh, this is just the initial phase. Uh, we, we're looking at it kind of a, as a pilot project, uh, and the amount that's on the uh, legislation is actually the most correct amount. And, uh, and yeah, we I certainly speak in support of this legislation. This is a vision of our principal chief, and uh, I, I cannot tell you the importance of this legislation with respect to the ability of our tribe to uh, ensure that our children are reading by the end of the third grade. Thank you. Thank you. Did that get your question? Yes. Thank you very much. Is there any further discussion or question about this bill? Roll call vote. Chair Medina? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Charlene Aid? Yes. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. Speaker, you have 15 in favor, none against. 15 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. Mr. Speaker? Yes. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to make a motion to reconsider NCA 13-257, uh, the appropriations for the Henrietta High School cheerleaders. I'd like to make a motion to reconsider that bill, please. Second. Do you mind doing that at the end of the meeting or at the end of the agenda? I can't. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's go ahead and finish what we got going here. Oh, sorry. NCA 13-263, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation to a Muscogee Creek citizen. It's a pleasure of the National Council. Motion to adopt. Representative Legrone motions. Second. Representative Medina seconds. Is there a discussion? I have a couple of questions for the sponsor or whoever. It says it has been denied from social service. Uh, I know it's doing a denial letter. Do we have one? I don't know if he has a denial letter or not. I know personally that he was several times. And uh, also, does he lease or does he own this house? He owns it. Okay. From what I got, I, I thought he, uh, he was leasing at home. I, I didn't, uh, I talked to him, he didn't indicate it was leased. He said he's lived there a long time. It was his house, about to fall down on him. Documentations I had to show that he leased it. He's leasing it now. Uh, that's what I was just wondering. Thank you. Any other question, question or discussion on the bill? It's going to require two thirds vote. Yes. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the uh, gentleman uh, living in Spencer, Oklahoma, outside of uh, Oklahoma City, would disqualify him automatically from the uh, social service program. Thank you. Again, this is going to require two-thirds vote. Yes. I was wondering uh, what uh, what did housing have to say to this man about his problem? This is the first time that housing has heard of that, but if he's in Spencer, Oklahoma, he's automatically going to be disqualified because of, he's not in our jurisdiction. They were telling me that he'd been through social services. Uh, house has been inspected by someone from housing. Which uh, that's the first I've heard of it. I don't know that. I, I don't know why we would be up in that part of the country looking at housing. Well, I know we, do we donated the money to 
Chickasaw Nation, but they were only two areas that they were going to serve, two counties. I believe he's not in, he's in Oklahoma County. Right. Two counties that were south of there. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Has he uh, tried anything from FEMA or uh, I know that the Oklahoma Indian Missionary Conference was helping Native Americans in that area with tornado. I talked to him about FEMA and he told me that, or no, I didn't talk to him. I talked to uh, some of our tribal employees. And one of the requirements of FEMA was that they wanted you to prompt or to uh, prove that you uh, suffered this damage at, in that storm. And he didn't know really how to acquire that kind of proof. I don't think that we're through with FEMA yet on this. Okay. Anything else? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If uh, the citizen actually owns a home, I don't have a problem with doing the donation, trying to help. Uh, but if he, he leases the home, then I do have a problem trying to fix somebody else's that's not the citizen's home, that we fix it for them. Uh, I can't support sure. that, though. So possibly... Maybe a motion to postpone till we find till next month. Would you make that motion? Make it motion to postpone. We have a motion to postpone. We have Representative Frank Coachman seconding the motion. Any discussion on the motion to postpone? Mr. Speaker? Yes. Before we postpone that, could we give uh, Cherie just a moment to make a comment in regard to this, please? This client contacted our office and he was not denied. He was unable to provide the documentation that we need in order to assist him. Um, he is able to receive assistance living outside of our jurisdiction. He just wasn't able to provide the documentation that we need in order to assist him. Um, he also did tell the social worker he does not own the home. He is um, leasing it rent to own, but he doesn't own he doesn't own the home. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just have one question for Ms. Scott. Ms. Scott. Sorry. <laughs> you said he was not able to provide the documentation. Was there a reason that he wasn't able to provide it? From what we've heard, the home wasn't destroyed by the tornado. Um, We've been told that it's an old home and it just needs a new roof. He was at, he's unable to provide um, estimates, um, pictures of the roof, things that we need to document to show reason that he is needing assistance. Because we do have the natural disaster, but he, he just couldn't provide the documentation that we needed. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Ms. Um, but it's there not, were other. It's not. He just didn't provide it. Okay. Is what it was. Right. So he that wasn't was actually question, denied. He just couldn't. He didn't send the information in. That was my question because there were estimates and pictures provided for the legislation. So, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Yes. I have a question for her. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I heard you say that. Your program would could be available outside of the. We have the hardship and the natural disaster. It doesn't matter where you live, oh, as long as you meet. Oh, it's only a couple of components. Is that what I hear you say? Uh, what, you know, I guess what I'm saying is, if what you're saying generally, your program is available then we need to begin telling people in Chicago and Dallas. We have guidelines to these programs, though. It's available to citizens who live outside of our service area, but there's guidelines and requirements they have to meet in order to be eligible. So there's only certain components of your overall program. I'm trying to help you out here. Any other discussion? This is the motion to postpone. have a roll call vote on the motion to postpone. Representative Jones withdraws his motion to postpone. Mr. Coachman agrees with him. Okay, so this will be, uh, just if there's no further discussion, this will be a vote on NCA 13263. It will require a two-thirds vote. Roll call vote, please.
Eddie Legrone? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. <clears throat> Shirley Nade? Jody Barnett? I apologize. Just to clarify, this is the main motion. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you. Um, my vote is no. Pete Beaver? No. Frank Coachman? No. Johnny Green? No. David Hill? No. Robert Huff? No. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? No. Speaker, you have five in favor, nine against. Five yes votes and nine no votes. The motion fails. NCA 13-264. A law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a donation to Beggs Rural Fire Association. What's well, the pleasure of the National Council? Thank you, Doc. Representative Lena Wynn motions. Representative Darrell Proctor seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote. It, uh, this can also require two thirds vote. We'll have a roll call vote on this. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, none against. With 14 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. We have the members of the Beggs uh, Rural Fire Association present today. I'd like for them to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Thank you. NCA 13266, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation creating new law in Title 43 titled oil and gas. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Legron motions. Representative David Hill seconds. Uh, for clarification, the funding will be uh, from gaming, gaming fund account. Is there any discussion on the NCA? Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Speaker, um, <clears throat> the uh, legislation uh, is uh, directed towards uh, primarily towards assistance uh, for uh, uh, creek lessors that have oil and gas leases. Um, I have here a uh, proposed regulation by the United States of America, Department of the Interior, uh, that will be uh, published uh, as uh, e effective law uh, very shortly. There will be a public hearing on it next month. And it uh, uh, very deliberately excludes 99% of all creek, creek lessors from federal oversight. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's a bad situation uh, since for the last 50 years, but uh, uh, it's uh, sincerely going to get worse uh, without uh, anyone uh, providing uh, a uh, fiduciary uh, duty to the uh, 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 creek citizen lessors. This legislation attempts to, uh, to uh, correct that problem uh, by creating a uh, Muscogee Nation oil and gas uh, department that will uh, uh, that will provide uh, lease monitoring, uh, assistance in payment uh, royalty payment distribution. Uh, general, general monitoring of all aspects of oil and gas for Creek citizens. Um, it also <coughs> provides for the Muscogee Nation itself uh, to enter in into uh, mineral production, uh, provided uh, the necessary research is uh, conducted and uh, everything. Uh, uh, looks like uh, it will be uh, of benefit to the nation. There is an appropriation to establish the office, and uh, uh, this—I uh, I believe that this legislation is a long time coming. 
been 50 years since the Act of 1947, uh, and so many people have uh, been uh, uh, abused and used uh, by, by the Act of 1947, and this is an attempt to correct it. Thank you. Thanks, is sir. there any further discussion or question about the legislation? There being none, we have a roll call vote. Eddie Legron? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. <clears throat> Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, none against. With 14 yes votes and zero no votes, the NCA is adopted by the National Council. NCA 13-273. A law from Skokie Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation of funds for sponsorship and advertising opportunity with the Tulsa Revolution professional soccer team. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Motion to adopt. Representative Hill motions. <clears throat> Representative Shirley, eight seconds. Is there a discussion? Roll call vote, please. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? No. Adam Jones? Yes. Yeah. Eddie Legron? Yes. David Nichols? No. Daryl Proctor? No. Mark Randolph? No. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Duddy Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? No. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? No. Speaker, you have eight in favor, six against. Eight yes votes and six no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. That concludes the order of business. Is there any unfinished business? Mr. Speaker? Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion to reconsider NCA 13-258. Second. You second. Cheerleaders. Okay. Representative okay. uh, Doty Barnett motions yeah. for reconsideration. Representative Charlene eight seconds. Is there any discussion on the motion to reconsider? Motion to reconsider. Any discussion? I have a roll call vote on the motion to reconsider. I apologize, Mr. Speaker. I actually voted against the measure, so someone who voted in support of it will have to make the motion to reconsider. I'm good. Okay. You just pulled me Okay. Let's proceed. Roll call vote. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Frank. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? No. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. David Nichols? No. Gerald Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Speaker, you have 11 in favor, 3 against. 11 yes votes and 3 no votes. The motion to reconsider passes. We're back to that, NCA 13-258, a law from the Scooby Creek Nation authorizing this. Okay. Mr. Speaker. Oh, it takes two-thirds? Okay, uh, the motion fails then because it going got 11 yes votes. Okay. Oh, 14. 14 okay. here, so. Mr. Speaker? Yes. May I speak to that? Um, my intention in reconsidering it was to lower the amount to 250, which would not require a two-thirds majority to pass. I mean, that's pretty standard what we give everyone. So um, that was my intent with the bill. I don't know if that changes anyone's mind on the way they voted. I, I apologize, Speaker. That was on the motion to reconsider. So that motion right. would pass. Now it would be on to the, right. the actual motion. Right. So it didn't require a two-thirds. The, the reconsideration oh, yeah. motion does not require two thirds right. vote. Okay. Just a majority. So just a majority. Just a majority. Okay, so the motion to reconsider uh, is successful. Two hundred dollars an hour. 
Yes, it, yes the motion to reconsider, reconsider passed, and we're reconsidering it now. Oh, yeah, really? Time and a half. Okay. So we're going to reconsider NCA 13258, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing a special appropriation to three Muscogee Creek youth. What's the pleasure of the National Council? Did we already vote? To so reconsider. To motion do pass, Mr. Speaker. All righty. We have a motion to do pass. We have a second. We're Any discussion? <laughs> Mr. Speaker. NCA 13258, yes. Could we get, allow time for the, either the girls or their, their sponsor to speak? Absolutely. There's someone from their group that would like to. Okay, the good truth. Um, these girls are performing at halftime of the 2014 Sugar Bowl. We have three Creek girls um, here with us, and the rest is here for support. Um, do you want to say anything? <laughs> the, it's very important to me and my fellow senior. Um, this will be our last time doing a big event like this. Um, a couple years ago, we did go to Memphis, Tennessee to perform at the Liberty Bowl because we were asked. And it took a lot of hard work. And um, we're very dedicated, as am I. And I know if this isn't followed through, I can't get this chance back. And it's very important to me um, and the other girls as well. We've all worked very hard. We're a very hardworking team. Um, and. No one will ever be disappointed in our performances. And I just, I don't know. This would make us very happy, and we would appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to add that these girls do have several fundraisers. Um, we actually have one tonight, and we're getting ready to go get ready for that one this evening. We have a raffle going on right now. We have tickets for a dollar if anybody would like one. Um, but um, we, the girls are working really hard, and um, we just appreciate anything that you guys can do for them. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I would just like to say that, you know, um, to me, our youth is, is anything with that we do for the, our youth is an investment. <coughs> and I feel like these young ladies have displayed how, how willing and how hard they work to achieve for what they've been able to achieve. And I, to me, $1,500 is minimal in, in what we can do for these youth. I mean, I feel like as a tribe, we do such minimal things for our youth to begin with. I don't know exactly what uh, Representative Barnett wants to amend this to, but I certainly feel like they, they deserve it. Um, I, being an educator, I know the cuts and the things that, that these kids go through in, in the school system because, you know, whether it be the state or the government, they're just very underfunded, and it falls upon the parents to try to come up with an extra amount and some of these amounts it's just very difficult to do particularly if you have more than one child in school so I certainly hope that um, this time that it will it will pass thank you sir thank you ma'am any other comment or discussion yes, ma uh, I'd like the council to uh, consider to support these young ladies also are the other two Creek girls here too uh, all three are here oh are they can you That lost one. Do y'all want to say anything? <laughs> one of the young ladies, um, their grandmother lives in Dustin in my district, and that's all she talked about is her granddaughters and the cheerleading squad that she was on. And uh, she has since uh, passed away, but uh, I really did uh, think highly of uh Louise, Louise Fish was the grandmother. And I just would like the council to reconsider and uh, let these girls go on their trip and have lots of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, just to speak to the legislation, I'm not against helping our youth. I have four school age or two school age children left, but I have four kids, so I definitely know what it's like to be a single parent and try to budget. 
Uh, my son was captain of his cheerleading squad, and I definitely know what it feels like to fundraise money for, for what you need. <laughs> so I think if we uh, lower the amount to 250, we don't require the two thirds majority or two thirds majority, and we can help these girls out with something for their trip, and it just give them that give them a push. But they they'd still have to make up for some of it on their own. But it would give them a push, and they would know that we care and we encourage them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is that a motion to? Yes, sir. Actually, I do make a motion to amend the amount to $250 per cheerleader, 750 total. <laughs> Is there a second to that motion? Right, Representative Adam Jones seconds. It's a motion to amend to $250. Any discussion on the motion to amend? Let's have a roll call vote on the motion to amend. Dodie Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Carol Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Sterling Aid? Speaker, you have 14 in favor, none against. 14 yes votes and zero no votes. The uh, motion to amend is adopted by the National Council. Back to the main motion. Any discussion or question about the main motion? Roll call vote, please. Jody Barnett? Yes. Pete Beaver? Yes. Frank Coachman? Yes. Johnny Green? Yes. David Hill? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Keeper Johnson? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Eddie Legrone? Yes. David Nichols? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lena Wynn? Yes. Shirley Nade? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, none against. 14 yes votes and zero no votes. The NCA is adopted by the National Council. Good luck. Thank you. Concludes the order of business. Is there any unfinished business in front of the National Council today? Moto. <laughs> Bad. God. Is there any other business in front of the National Council today? Being then, the chair to entertain a motion to adjourn. Oh. Yes. I apologize, Mr. Speaker. On the agenda, it has announcements. Um, I would like to announce that Salt Creek United Methodist Church is having a veteran service on November 10th. Um, this, the festivities will begin at 2, and after the, the that's over, uh, they will feed supper, and all veterans are welcome. Salt Creek United Methodist Church in Holdenville. Thank, Thank you. you. Any other uh, announcements? Yes. Okay. I just have a quick announcement. Um, I just want to announce that Okmulgee Indian Community is having a National Council runoff. It's a forum. Um, lunch is at 1, and we're going to have a forum at 2. Okay? It's over there, right across the street, Caddy Corner. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Really, really. Give my feet yeah. Also, want to announce that the Department of Education and Training is hosting our first annual Career and Education Expo. We'll be in Beggs, Oklahoma, on November the seventh. I believe our National Council has received their invitations, but I do want to invite all of our community members that are here as well. Uh, from 1:30 to 4, we'll have a session for the adults. Um, a lot of businesses and colleges will be on site opportunity to learn about programs that maybe you can apply for, uh, try to find employment, or if you're looking to go back to school. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more. I want to invite everyone to Riverwalk next weekend. We are having the Indian Fall Festival and the second annual Native Made Arts Fest. Uh, all of you fry bread cookers, please uh, join in the fry bread cook-off. $50 entry fee, $1,000 for the winner. There is no second place, so you're either the best or you're not. Uh, <laughs> it's Friday and Saturday at Riverwalk, 3 to 8 on Friday, 10 to 6 on Saturday. And we'll have cultural activities, stuff for the kiddos, the arts and crafts uh, events, and food vendors. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. We actually have it posted on our page and email it out to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, I one more. Up there, Jones. You have one more. 
Thank you. Hi, the Gwynpool Creek Indian Community is having their Halloween party tonight, uh, five to eight. Everyone's invited. Thank you. Thank you. Any other announcements? Uh, just look like we received the first open house for one of the SIPs. So I don't know what time. What time does it start, Brad? Uh, Thank you. Mr. Marshall? Yes, Speaker. Um, as you all have noticed, you've been getting tons of emails lately about activities around the tribe from Office of Public Relations. I want to remind you, Thursday night, Halloween night, 31st, Tulsa University will be having an exhibition uh, game with Haskell Indian Nations University. There are some tribal members on Haskell's team. I want to in, uh, encourage you to come out, support Haskell, and we're going to uh, show them the, um, the support that uh, Native Nations have uh, for Haskell. Uh, it's, like I said, it's an exhibition game, but uh, come on out Thursday night. Game time is 8 o'clock. Thank you, sir. Anything else? Any other announcements? Yes, sir. It's not an announcement. It's a, it's a, I want to commend the National Council as you start your annual food drive for Thanksgiving. I want to encourage everyone to help the National Council make sure that some of our people that aren't able to eat Thanksgiving, that uh, it's being provided through your legislature. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're, we've got that well underway. We've sent out letters to a whole bunch of lawyers and <laughs> vendors that uh, want to reverse the deal on them. So, anyway, uh, for the, if there are no other announcements, the chair to entertain a motion to adjourn. Hello. Representative Huff motions. Representative Proctor seconds. All in favor of adjournment signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Mr. Pratt, will you give us a prayer to close the meeting? Amen. Amen. Stand adjourned.